Welcome back. We're exploring Marcuria, which is in Arcadia, apparently a different world of some kind. And we're currently at the city gates, so let's look around a little bit here. Stout guardians of the city. Wooden, but stout. And that blue fire is way cool. There's a guard. Those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than the Newport cops, despite the lack of an exoskeleton. We've seen the Newport cops uh, a few times. They looked more comical than intimidating with those exoskeletons, actually. So I agree. This guy's selling musical instruments. Most of these I don't even recognize. But he's got a drum in there and what looks like half a guitar and a couple of dried rabbit carcasses. Ugh. <laughs> he's selling musical instruments. Let's talk to him. I'm not in the market for an instrument at this particular moment. Still, Good to know where to get one in case of a uh, musical emergency. Because those happen very often. Those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than... Yeah, we've heard that. There's a fish market. This lady's selling fresh fish. I've never seen fish like this before. But if it's wet and has fins, fish it is. Oh, yeah? So what about dolphins? Or whales? The walls look ancient. Mercury must be at least as old as anything back in the real... Uh, in my world. Um, okay. So I can scroll sideways a little bit. Some cliffs in the distance. Nice day. This guy's selling lobsters, crabs, eels, and... What the hell is that purple thing? That is so not appetizing. Doesn't look like it's a very uh, busy day. Or at least not a very busy time of the day, because nobody's buying stuff here. Well, we can go to the docks. Wow. That is impressive looking. The size of these galleons is truly breathtaking. And there are dozens of dozens of them, not to mention a number of smaller vessels. Mercury must be a very important and very busy port. That would seem to be the case. Blue fire. It's either propane or magic. I'm guessing the latter. Maybe it's magic propane. Why would an art student know that uh, propane gives you blue flame? Oh well, maybe she watches QI, picked it up there. Something like that. The 21st century equivalent of QI, of course. It's a lighthouse, much like the ones we have at home, except this one, of course, burns a blue fire. Is fire just generally blue here, or do they have it in the regular variant as well? Well, looks like we can walk to the small pier and to the ship here. Doesn't look like we can talk to any of these people. An old sailor sitting there. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. It doesn't look very seaworthy, I'll agree to that, but for uh, just for some recreational uh, sailing or river or close to shore operation, it should be fine. 
sail doesn't look like it's in a very good condition though, but anyway. It's a quaint, old-fashioned treasure chest. I wonder if there's anything exciting inside it, like doubloons or whatever they're called. The old man and the, uh, ocean? Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. Better a lifetime at sea than a day in a dress and a brazier. Okay. I think we can talk to this old sailor. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What'd it look like I'd be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Matter what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. Sounds delightful. I, I tell you, I be having stories about the sea. Sounds interesting. Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Matter what? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. Now, what stories be I wanted to hear, then? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. Aye, I'd be having plenty of tales to tell. There be the tale of me adventures in the Bakshivan Empire, if he'd be interested. It'd be a tale of grand romance, just up your alley, be sure of it. That sounds interesting. Sure, that sounds like a fine story. Aye. It be near on fifty years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the Three-Legged Whore. The what? Interesting name. What do I be saying? She was called the Thrifty Horse, she was. Aye, that be her name. The Whistle What's It. Ah, uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? Ah, uh, anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Monterva, the grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sets out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Monterba be ruled by a mock, like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, is there popcorn the for the story? do be having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Err, uh, and so I sets out on me own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands. And that be me adventures in the once glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Deuce and the romance the Mock's daughter. How I be chased from Mount Herba by the Mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. Ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? Sounds like you may have exaggerated some parts of that tale. What? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 no. Just concentrating really hard. Sure. Err. Good story, though. Solid, solid material. Ever considered doing a book? Aye, 
But the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. Oh, so they take an outrageous commission then? No. They actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a penchant for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Okay. Huh. Well, that was certainly interesting, but we'll continue in the next video.